Hi guys, my name is Jay Gannon and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you to maximize your LinkedIn content. Today's video is gonna be talking about how to optimize your LinkedIn profile. And this is the second video of my LinkedIn crash course. And if you're not watching the playlist already, just check out the link in the description box. When creating content on LinkedIn, it's important to know your purpose, which we covered in the last video. So this video is gonna be about how to optimize your profile once you know your why for showing up on the platform. This can change over time, but it's important to know your first why so you can optimize your profile towards something and you can set out goals and outline a content strategy. People ask me on LinkedIn quite frequently how to optimize your profile. And the first question I usually ask them back is, well, what are you optimizing it for? Is it to be a content creator on LinkedIn or is it to get a job or to just show up and pull in opportunities towards yourself? So initially we have to outline our why because then we can actually gauge whether we've been successful in achieving our goals. Traditionally, optimizing your profile on LinkedIn would be to optimize it for a job search. So in the past, LinkedIn has been used by people to get jobs and it's been used by recruiters, employers and businesses to find suitable applicants for their job positions. So optimizing your profile would be littering your profile of keywords. So for example, if I was interested in a content marketing role, I'd be talking about my content marketing experience and I'd be using the words content marketing, content marketer, content creation. I'd have that throughout my profile, in my about section, in my experience, and also on the skills on my profile. Hopefully, this would mean that my profile would rank for searches by recruiters when they're looking for people who might be suitable for the role. So I'm from Cambridge, so my location might say Cambridgeshire, and people might stumble across me as someone with marketing experience they're looking for in that area, if a business is in Cambridge who are actually hiring. In this video, we will talk about optimizing your profile to get a job, but also a less conventional way of optimizing your profile to be a content creator. So really maximizing the space that you do have available on your profile if it's not just to get a job. But I think you can do both by being visible as a content creator and creating high volumes of content, which educates people, inspires them and gets them onto your profile. You will pull in opportunities. So if you're here and you want to create content on LinkedIn, you know the benefits and you want to optimize your profile. Here are some of the things that I would suggest. So let's jump into my profile and let's see how we can optimize your profile on LinkedIn. So I think it's useful for you guys to have an example. So here is my LinkedIn profile and here at the top we have the cover photo. So the majority of people on LinkedIn don't use a cover photo, but this is a great opportunity because as you can see, it really does take up a lot of space on your profile. So if you're a student or someone looking for work, you could have a graphic here made in Canva for free, listing your skills and your experience or what you're interested in. Alternatively, if you're using LinkedIn as a creator, you could have the URL of your personal blog or your other social media profiles. Or if you're a business owner, you could have the URL of your website here in the cover photo. It's simply too important to miss out. So here I've used my cover photo for branding. So I've got a list of three of what I do and anyone landing on my profile would see this instantly. Right now, I wanna use my cover photo as a call to action. So I wanna promote my YouTube channel. So this is the first thing people see when they land on my profile. And I can use this combined with the featured section to maximize the traffic on my profile and to divert it elsewhere. Two great resources for your cover photo are using Canva, like I said, and also Unsplash to get some really good high quality images if you don't have an image already. Next up, we have the profile photo. So naturally, this is gonna be really important for you as well to optimize your profile and to get those all important first impressions. Let's see it this way. Online, you are your profile image. So when you direct message people and you reach out to them, they will judge you of your photo and you're also your headline. So for ages, I didn't have a professional photo and then somebody at work came in to take some photos of the team. I saw this as a good opportunity to have a photo taken and I've used that ever since. So if you don't have a photo that comes to mind, look for opportunities like that. Alternatively, just use your smartphone, stand behind a plain background and smile. People want to meet smiley people and it's great to not have anything distracting in your photo like a logo or anything else in the background. A lot of people also remove the background of their photos to add to the color palette of the personal brand. I use a website called remove.bg and all you need to do is upload your photo and you can remove the background and download it on their free plan. Then you can log into the free version of Canva, go on to custom dimensions and create a 1080 by 1080 grid. Then import your photo without its background and then set the background on Canva to a colored background of whatever you want to do. So for example here, I'm gonna select the color of my orange, which is my personal brand color. I'm gonna put my image in front of it. And then I can download this and upload that as my LinkedIn profile photo. Another section in your profile, which is really important to optimize your profile on LinkedIn, is to press edit public profile and URL. This is a really simple tip, but LinkedIn is of course still great as an online CV. And it's also great to show people your recommendations which you've gathered on the platform. So you want an easy to remember, easy to send URL for your profile. So do make sure you edit your custom URL here. It's surprising how many people don't do this. But if you had the link to your LinkedIn profile on your CV, it's gonna look a bit weird if it's got numbers and random letters like it first does before you edit it. Another great way to optimize your profile on LinkedIn is to go onto the different profile sections. 
so at any time you can change what sections appear on your profile. So make sure the sections that you have completed and filled out are the ones that are showing. For example, if you have skills and endorsements showing, but only one skill is listed, maybe don't use this yet until you've gathered more. For a personal example, when I was looking for a job, I actually had a really nice recommendation from a previous employer. So I didn't want people landing on my profile to have to scroll and scroll to get to recommendations which are typically at the bottom of the page. So what I did is I removed to different sections of my profile so it's faster for them to get to the recommendations. When optimizing your profile, remember that the space on your profile is yours and it's very much customizable. Yes, certain sections appear in certain orders, but just like the cover photo and your profile photo, this is space for you to really optimize and to make your own. So make your profile work for you. Direct to whoever is on your profile to where you want them to go. Now, this is a relatively new feature on LinkedIn, but we do have a new name pronunciation feature. I saw this as an opportunity to get creative because essentially you have a button on your profile which someone can click and they can listen to your voice. So when you click on the speaker here, I've said my name, I welcome to people to my profile, and I've also subtly mentioned that I do have a YouTube channel and a weekly newsletter where they can get my best content tips from. How could you use this yourself? You could say, hi, my name's Joe Gannon. I'm interested in finance. I've just graduated from university and I'm on LinkedIn to learn from other people. For anyone landing on your profile, that would really help for them to get to know you and for you to stand out. My next tip on how to optimize your LinkedIn profile is the all important headline. So your profile image and your headline will follow you around Around LinkedIn. So when you're wondering how to optimize your LinkedIn profile, this is a major one. Your headline will look slightly different across devices. For example, when looking at LinkedIn on a laptop or a phone, because obviously there'll be less spacing for you. You do need to be mindful of this when writing out your LinkedIn headline. Also, what's important to note is when you send a connection request to somebody, you only really have your profile photo and your headline for them to go by whether they should add you. Yes, you do have the opportunity to write a personalized note, which I think is one of the best things to do on LinkedIn. It's one of the best opportunities that we have. And it really does actually highlight the importance of doing that because if you don't write a personalized note they will literally judge whether to accept you into their network or not by your profile photo and by your headline so if you have an unprofessional photo and a headline which you haven't really taken much thought into you're not really giving them a reason to accept you into their network if you have one line about your job role your job title or what you're up to right now have a couple of words which are more personable which stand you out from other people and then get creative so thirdly you could use it to include a hashtag so someone can follow your posts you can mention that you create content on youtube or that you have a newsletter or you could talk about why you're on the platform. The best headlines in my opinion are the ones that are catchy and they really help you to understand who that person is. As we're optimizing our profile for LinkedIn we're also optimizing our profile to be seen in searches. So in your headline, in the about section on different places in your profile the words that you use are actually searchable keywords. So be mindful of this and use words of the language that people are searching. For example if an employer is looking to hire a content marketer it's actually more likely that they'll be typing into LinkedIn content marketer marketing and seeing what people come up for that search. So use the type of words that people are using. Maybe don't describe yourself as a content marketer, but say that you do content marketing at and then the company that you work for or the experience that you've gained. It's going to be a bit of trial and error, but don't worry, you can always edit your headline at any time. So a really small tip here, but I personally live in a really small town in Cambridgeshire. Nobody's really going to be searching for potential employees in the town that I work for. There's not loads of businesses compared to cities. So I actually zoomed out a little bit and I put Cambridge on my location because there's more businesses and more job opportunities in the general area of Cambridgeshire than in the small town that I live in. So if you just graduated or you're coming out of college, the chances are you're not just looking for jobs around your immediate location. So zoom out a little bit and consider the area which you'd be happy to go and commute to for a job. Next up, we have the about section, which is again, a really important part of your profile for optimizing your profile. As you can see here, there's a limited space before someone clicks see more. So you have to be tactical and capture their attention immediately. If you don't really say anything in these few lines, then there's no indication for someone to get to know more about you. And this would be a mistake because the about section has the most space for us to write information about ourselves. Here, I'd recommend that you tell a story of your career so far, talk about your accomplishments, discuss your personal interests and who you are as a person. This is where you can stand out and differentiate yourself and to be memorable. Everybody has a story to tell. Again, if you're using LinkedIn less to get a job and more to create content, what resources can you include here? If you haven't created resources yet, this is a great opportunity to in include your favorite resources, your favorite books, your favorite podcasts, which other people who are like-minded might come across and enjoy. As I create lots of content, I use the about 
about section to give people resources. So if we consider somebody landing on my profile completely cold, how can we warm them up as soon as possible? Tell them a story, give them an interesting fact about yourself and make them laugh. If you be memorable, they're more likely to reach out and to actually hit follow or connect. And this is why I have resources here because new people landing onto my profile can straight away get value from me and then hopefully they'll keep an eye out on future content. The featured section. This is my favorite section on LinkedIn. And again, it was relatively new. It was brought out at the start of 2020. The featured section is a huge sign of intent from LinkedIn and the direction the platform is going. Again, this section takes up a large space in your profile, particularly on mobile where it's more prominent. If you're trying to optimize your profile to get a job, to attract recruiters, it's a no brainer to include a link to your CV here. A simple way to do this is to upload your CV as a file on Google Drive, press share and grab a link that anybody can view if they click on it. This would be far more useful than hiding a link to your CV in the about section where potentially you just say CV available on request. Make it as easy as possible for anyone landing on your profile to go to the places that you want them to go to. So right now when you create content, LinkedIn will penalize anybody using an external link in their post. And this makes sense because LinkedIn are a business. LinkedIn want you to keep people on the platform. So if you upload a LinkedIn post with a link to your YouTube video, LinkedIn will obviously punish and show your post to less people because they want people to stay in LinkedIn and not to go onto YouTube. So the feature section is our best way to direct attention out of the platform. So as you might have guessed, what I like to do on my LinkedIn profile is to show some of the YouTube videos I've created, which people can click on if they've gone onto my LinkedIn profile. This is a clickable link and I can maximize the profile views and send that attention elsewhere. So this works as a call to action on your profile. And then if you get creative, you can incorporate your personal branding colors in the thumbnail of your YouTube video or whatever link pulls through here. It could be a link to your website, it could be a link to your blog. So I've got the orange in my cover photo and also orange in the media of my featured section. There are so many possibilities. You just have to maximize the space. Why not record a video of yourself introducing people to your profile, which will be one of the first things they can click on when they land on your profile and which would encourage them to reach out and to say hi. This is how you can really quickly build relationships and show people what you're about and what you're interested in. Now, obviously, if you're using LinkedIn as a CV, then you should include relevant experience here. If you've applied for a certain role, maybe be selective on what appears here. If you're looking for your first marketing job, it would probably be best for people to focus on seeing how you've gained skills relevant to marketing. You do not actually have to only include job experience in the experience section. You can write anything in this section. So if you were selling a product or a service, you could actually list the product benefits here, or you could list your five best skills and turn your whole profile into a skill based CV. Be creative and remember, people have short attention spans. So do not write tons and tons of information in the about section and don't do the same in your experience section. Be concise, people have a takeaway message which will be memorable when they leave your profile and then they can remember you a week or two later. We're nearly finished guys. The next section on how to optimize your profile on LinkedIn is the skills and endorsements section. In my opinion, the most important thing here is to think about the skills that you have listed as signposts. So if I'm a content marketer, I might have content marketing, strategy and video production, for example. List the skills that you want someone to know about you as a glance. So you could have leadership, you could have strategy, you could have innovation, you could have creativity. And then anyone scrolling your profile will be able to read these about you very quickly. If you do want more endorsements on your profile for social proofing, endorse people sincerely that you know in your network. This could be people that you know, that you've previously worked with or for, and they will likely reciprocate this action and endorse you back. I hope this video has been useful for you guys. And don't forget, this is a part of my LinkedIn crash course, which you can find the link to that playlist in the description box below, which is a playlist of 10 videos to really help you to maximize your LinkedIn content. If you're not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and leave this video a like if you've got any value at all and feel free to ask me your questions in the comment section. So now we know how to optimize our profiles. The next video is gonna show you how to identify your LinkedIn content themes. So what should you be talking about on LinkedIn? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.